Every year, Monterey Car Week is one of the most anticipated car events in Monterey County, California. Let's take a look at every new supercar debuting during Monterey Car Week 2021. Prepare to have your love for cars satisfied, there are some great ones here. Enjoy the video we made for you. Audi SkySphere The SkySphere is the first of three new autonomous sphere ideas from Audi and takes the forms of an all-electric convertible with styling influenced by 1930s Roadster long bonnet short deck styling. The first member of a new family of concept vehicles, a stunning Roadster, has been revealed by Audi. The Audi SkySphere concept is a two-door electric convertible with lines that go directly to the Audi design of the future. It demonstrates the brand's vision for the progressive luxury segment of the future, in which the interior becomes an interactive area and the vehicle serves as a platform for exciting experiences. Autonomous driving, a new interior overhaul, and a seamless digital ecosystem have all made this feasible. The Roadster idea has a digital cockpit with retractable steering wheel and pedals that are designed to pack away while the car is driving itself, as well as a flexible wheelbase that can change proportions dependent on driving modes. According to Audi officials, the concept car illustrates what the firm feels it can achieve in the second part of this decade as it transitions to electric and autonomous vehicles. Audi intends to provide only electric vehicles by 2033 after introducing its last internal combustion engine vehicle in 2026. The SkySphere is designed to drive itself according to Audi, although it cannot do so at current time. It's uncertain how practical a vehicle can alter sizes for a manufacturing model would be. According to Audi, the vehicle's electric driving range is around 310 miles. The Audi SkySphere concept demonstrates how the brand is redefining luxury in the future. It's not just about driving anymore. The concept car was created with the goal of providing its passengers with compelling and world-class experiences. The Audi SkySphere idea was created for two alternative driving experiences, a grand touring experience and a sports experience to provide passengers the most freedom possible. This makes use of a stunning technical feature, the adjustable wheelbase, electric motors, and a complex mechanism with sliding body and frame components allow the car's wheelbase and external length to be adjusted by 250 millimeters. Simultaneously, the ground clearance of the car is increased by 10 millimeters to improve comfort and driving dynamics. Similar to how interior design provides a new contemporary perception of luxury, digital digitization and the ecosystem provide passengers with unparalleled degrees of flexibility and access to new worlds of experience. The possibilities are practically unlimited thanks to Audi's own services and the ability to integrate digital services. Additionally, passengers can use social media to share their road trip with pals, including photographs of the inside and surroundings. The vehicle also handles mundane activities that aren't related to the ride. The autonomous Audi SkySphere concept, for example, picks up passengers with information about their current location and handles parking and charging on its own. Aston Martin Valkyrie Roadster Aston Martin will unveil a new performance product at Pebble Beach alongside the new Mercedes-AMG powered Valhalla hybrid hypercar, a one-of-a-kind vehicle with a one-of-a-kind name, one that conjures up images of strength and honor as well as being chosen by the gods. A total of 150 road cars will be produced. The Aston Martin Valkyrie is the company's first hypercar and it leaves nothing to chance. Downforce is maximized in the atmosphere around Valkyrie's harness thanks to a stunning aerodynamic appearance and an open underfloor. The all-carbon fiber bodywork features the signature top grille design before morphing into a radical performance-orientated body. While the model's identity is yet to be verified, a teaser image issued by the marquee shows this hardcore Valkyrie hypercar with a hole in its roof running from the windscreen to the headrest of the passengers, with this new convertible model expected to be called the Roadster or Volante. Valkyrie is as similar to a Formula One car as possible without being limited to the track. Its technology is a direct result of our collaboration with Red Bull Racing Advanced Technologies, and it bears all of the hallmarks of our handcrafted elegance. It's all made of carbon fiber. There isn't a single steel component in Valkyrie's structure, which reduces load while increasing power to weight ratio. All that power in such a small package. The 6.5 liter naturally aspirated Cosworth B12 single motor hybrid system and Formula One derived aerodynamics 
are all expected to continue through, albeit the fixed roof car's gullwing doors will be replaced with a pair of scissor doors, as seen in the teaser image. On August 12th, the open roof Valkyrie will be shown to VIP visitors before making its public debut on August 13th. Honda NSX Type S Honda and its luxury brand Acura is set to send the NSX Halo car into and out of its final year of worldwide production with a bang. A flagship Type S variation, a year after the supercar was discontinued in Australia. The NSX Type S is limited to just 350 vehicles worldwide, with 300 going to the United States and another 30 going to Japan. Production will conclude in December 2022 once all Type S cars have left the factory. The Honda NSX Type S has undergone minor changes to give it a more aggressive appearance. It gets a reworked front bumper to help with cooling as well as a large rear diffuser to help with aerodynamics. There's also a larger carbon fiber ducktail spoiler as well as new five-spoke alloy wheels that boost the NSX track's width. The Gotham Gray matte paint treatment will be applied to 70 of the 350 specimens that will be produced. It's a joke about the Batmobile. The interior of the Honda NSX Type S hasn't changed much, though it does get a new Alcantara headliner and a Type S badge stamped on the glove compartment. That's pretty much it. The Special Edition's 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6, three electric motors and all-wheel drive system will provide more power than the ordinary model's 427 kW, allowing it to outperform the standard model. The Honda NSX Type S gains 600 horsepower and 667 Nm of torque thanks to turbochargers used from the NSX GT3 race car. A 9-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission will still send power to all four wheels. The chassis has also been modified. New carbon fiber components, tweaks to the car's torque vectoring system, and a pair of super sticky Pirelli P0 tires are among them. You may also choose the lightweight option, which includes carbon ceramic brakes, a carbon fiber engine cover, and some carbon fiber interior trim. The Type S was created to raise your heart rate and blood pressure. Brembo front brake calipers are large and oversized rotors help you slow down. Lightweight Y-spoke wheels with high-performance Pirelli summer tires inspired by the NSX are available, reducing unsprung weight at all four corners for a drive that feels precisely carved down to the ounce. A more aggressive aerodynamics package will be available, as well as a firmer chassis for more precise drive. Pininfarina Batista The Pininfarina Batista electric hypercar will make its production debut during Monterey Car Week, two and a half years after the near-production car made its debut. The production car will use the same Rimac source quad motor electric powertrain as the 2019 show car, with exposed carbon fiber on the outside and sustainable black leather and blue contrast stitching on the inside. It's the most powerful and fast accelerating road car ever made in Italy, with a stated time of under 2 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. A 120 kilowatt hour battery pack supplied by Rimac Automobile powers the Batista. The car contains four separate motors one for each wheel with a combined power output of 1400 kW and torque of 2300 Nm. The automobile has a carbon fiber monocoque chassis with front and rear aluminum crash structures. The majority of the body panels are made of the same material, resulting in a low-mass vehicle. The automobile sports Pirelli P0 Corsa tires on 533.4mm rims. The car's adjustable suspension system will be calibrated for maximum comfort on the road. There are five driving modes on the car, each of which changes the amount of power generated by the motor. The automobile has carbon ceramic brake discs with a diameter of 390mm in the front and rear, as well as six piston calipers in the front and rear. To boost stopping power, the active rear wing works as an air brake. The interior of the car can be customized to the customer's preferences. Two enormous screens flank a carbon fiber steering wheel on either side, displaying critical data to the driver. Leather upholstery is used throughout the inside. The company claims that the car uses acoustics to provide cabin driving sound. A battery pack is shaped like a T and is positioned below the seats in the center tube. The battery pack gives the automobile a range of 450 kilometers when fully charged. The Batista sprints from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in less than 2 seconds, 0 to 300 kilometers an hour in 
less than 12 seconds and tops out at 350 kilometers an hour. On August 12th, the series production Batista will be unveiled along with a special edition on a Versario variation. Which supercar is your favorite? Is there any car we should have added here? Are there any future supercars you're keeping your eyes on?